Chris Steyerwalt, News Nation political editor, host of The Hill on Sunday, and Bill Salmon, former Fox News managing editor and vice president. Gentlemen, good to see both of you. Thank you. Uh, that moment has been relitigated, so we will not. But I think if we look forward, would you advise Tapper and Bash tomorrow night to be that provocative? I think uh, I would advise them to be that aggressive. And yeah, sure, there's nothing wrong with being provocative within the confines of being, you know, uh, adequately respectful of the office of the presidency and the former president. You know, you have to have a certain decorum about you. But yeah, I believe that presidential debates are a unique journalistic undertaking that require very, very challenging questions. Not disrespectful questions, but tough questions as Chris, I'll steal a line from Chris, you know, you're auditioning for George Washington's job here, okay? You know, you need to be put through your paces. That's the whole purpose. How do you come debate. up with these? I don't these know. questions. He comes up with this stuff. But no, you have to, you know, you have to go in there and say, and that's what Chris and I did for, uh, for many of these. What's the process sessions. look like? You sit in a, uh, in a conference room, we call them murder boards, and you prepare and you come up with, you know, you, you spitball questions and then you sharpen them and you refine them and refine them. And, you know, you have to have a very tough skin because somebody might say, you know, that's a pretty weak question, but let's make it stronger. And if you go in with that kind of an attitude, you can come up with some killer questions that actually will hopefully get the candidates somewhat off of their talking points. That's the goal. Get them at least partially off their talking points. They might say something interesting or newsworthy or helpful to voters. Chris, what is the difference, though? And I think you said tough, which I think is a great word. What's the difference between tough and gotcha? Well, when you're crafting a question for a debate, when you do an interview, you're able to use your body language, you're able to interrupt, you're able to follow up, and you can say, da, 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 no, I hear, I hear what you're saying, I hear what you're saying, um, but I want to redirect you. You ha these have to be fully contained, self-contained. It's a grenade that you are lobbing up at the stage, and it has to have all the parts in it so that when it goes up there, so you have to think through, okay, what's he probably going to say? What does he want to say here? What's he said in the past? What's he said in the past? What does he want to say? So sometimes you'll prefigure what the, uh, what the candidate has said. You've said in the past that you think that zebras are black with white stripes, but... On the campaign trail Wednesday, you said that they were white with black stripes. Clarify that for us. So you have to build a self-contained thing. And the other thing I would say to echo uh, my former boss's point is tough and don't start soft and get tough. Be tough. Come out and ask them hard questions. Don't wait and don't mollycoddle and pussyfoot around and then get up there and finally say, like, well, now we're going to do this. You come out and you throw heat. You do it tough right from the beginning and make it clear that this is serious business. What Chris said about the preamble to the question where you stipulate what you expect them to say so that they don't hopefully answer that anyway. In other words, you know, you showed that Megyn Kelly one where she started out that question by saying, Mr. Trump, one of the things people love about you is that you speak your mind. And that was a great opener because it kind of felt like a compliment, maybe gets the candidate's guard down a little bit. But really, it was setting him up for, now we're going to tell people what was in your mind and what you said about women and so on and so forth. And But it also hopefully discourages the candidate from using that as his answer. In other or use words, that as the excuse. As the, right. the, the end of the question it, yeah. saying, well, I, I speak my mind. So once you, you can sort of like stipulate, we know what your talking point's going to be, but let's try to get real here. So it, it doesn't always work, but it can help. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.